The tree of peace is a great white pine tree that stands tall and strong as a symbol of the great peace. The peacemaker chose this tree because of its long branches that would extend and cover the nations of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. Its deep roots that reach out to the nations in the four directions represent a commitment to peace. The guardian eagle perches at the top of the tree, watching out for anything that might disrupt the peace of the people who choose to live their lives with it. It is said that buried underneath the soil is a Haudenosaunee war club, which represents the end to the warring and fighting between nations. Those that had accepted the message of peace united under the tree and joined to form the Confederacy. This tree reflects the core values of the Haudenosaunee Great Law of Peace. A good mind, Ganigon Rio, strength, Gasastansara, and peace, Skana. The question is, how can we bring these values into the classroom to create a peaceful community? How can we have a classroom where students can grow emotionally, build confidence in themselves, nurture relationships, and engage in a community setting? That's where the pedagogy of peace comes in. It is a values-based and competency-based education model that focuses on learner success, well-being, and holistic growth. It ties in the Haudenosaunee core values with the Anishinaabe worldview, represented in the medicine wheel. Starting in the East, we have understanding, which fits with nurturing a good mind. This involves positive emotional growth, looking at diverse knowledges and ways of knowing, and shared leadership. For example, in a biology course, a teacher might challenge the definition of science and examine how Western science and traditional ways of knowing relate. Another example of putting this into practice is having students and teachers co-create the course outlines and set their learning objectives together. The teacher can also provide options for the assignment topics or delivery methods so that students can choose what works best for them. Moving to the South, we have doing with the strength-based approach. This approach is research-focused and practice-oriented, where students learn by doing. This can occur with a variety of teaching and learning approaches, such as allowing students more time for reflection and practice before grading, learning on and with the land or through community-based projects. Turning to the West, we have honoring with the peace-focused approach. This is about nurturing relationships to self, others, and the environment, and can take the form of land-based learning. It is about fostering reciprocal respect, trust, and care, and about creating a space where people feel seen, heard, and respected. In practice, a teacher could lead in circles, allowing each student the chance to speak or simply reflect. This involves teaching by looking, listening, feeling, and repeating. Now to the North, we have knowing and self in relation. This approach focuses on self environment and holistic self development, along with interconnectedness and collaboration. As a teacher, you can build connections with students by getting to know them personally, checking in with their mental health and allowing time for self reflection, perhaps in the form of journals. When students reflect on their place in the world, you can challenge them to think about what their social responsibilities and community engagement looks like. With these teachings in mind, we hope educators will lead learners through their learning journey with integrity, optimism, loving kindness, and support, and adopt or adapt this approach into their classroom communities. A pedagogy of peace promotes the creation of communities of care for learners and teachers alike. It is truly a transformational learning experience for all. Paddling of the canoes. With each steady stroke, the water moves, leaving memories in its wake. A path, a change, our ancestors did make. They moved through uncharted waters, with memory keeping them afloat. They felt guided by something bigger, a message of promise and of hope. The shoreline where they landed handed them a message of peace. Should they choose to accept it, They'd encircle around a tree, holding tightly to a commitment of peace, strength, and a good mind under the protection of the guardian eagle on high.